Hey yo, welcome back everybody. This video we're going to be talking about prototypes and how to manually set the prototype for an object. Now if that sounds like a bunch of mumbo jumbo garbage, then you probably need to go back, watch the previous videos, and get a little bit of that, that you know, that pre-knowledge stuff. Otherwise, if you're ready to jump in, then let's do it. But you know, we first gotta take a intermission to share this uh, sponsored message. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? Dev Mountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through Dev Mountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, Dev Mountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to use an object literal called user. And what we're going to do is we're going to say whether this user is active. So maybe that means they've signed in recently or their email is activated. Let's go with the email option. So you confirm your email and you become active. And let's say we're creating an application where teachers can sign up and students can sign up and they can create courses and take courses. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a teacher. It's going to look a little something like this. And inside this teacher, we're going to say what this person is teaching. Uh, it's going to be an array. And we'll just say this person is teaching math and science. You know, you can get a little bit more specific if you want to put course names or whatever, but this is good enough for me. And here's what we can do. We can say object, capital O, dot set, prototype of. And the first thing we're going to put in here is the object to change its prototype. So we'll say teacher, comma, and then the value of the new prototype or null. So we'll go with user. So we're setting the prototype of teacher to be user. Now what I want to do is I want to console log the teacher. Do a refresh, taking a look at this object, we can expand it and you can see this underscore underscore proto. It's an object and look at that, we have this active here. So what that means is we can say console log teacher dot active. When we get a refresh, we'll get true. So even though we didn't say an active was on this teacher, it still outputs true. So basically what's going on is we're making this user object be inherited from when we create this teacher object and set its prototype to be that user. Then what we can do is we can go on and create a student and inherit from user as well. And then we can differentiate from teachers and users and all that cool stuff. But this is the basis, how to set the prototype of an object, you do it like so. Now what I wanna do is I wanna output teacher again, do a refresh, take a look in here and expand all the prototypes. So you can see the first prototype, that's going to come from here. Then this next prototype is just object, which is basically the root of the inheritance chain. So that's your introduction to manually setting the prototype for an object. Hopefully that was helpful and I'm sure this will come up in the future, so make sure you uh, got this stuck in your brain. Right now we're just working with object literals, but eventually we'll talk about how to do this with constructors and so forth. So thank you guys, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.